Okay, so I'm gathering some parts to make my 2008 Toyota 4Runner SR5 into kind of an overlanding camping vehicle. And today we're gonna to look at a roof basket. So I went down to Harbor Freight because I had a 20% off coupon and I picked up one of the Hallmaster roof baskets. And we're gonna put it together and we're gonna put it on the top of the 4Runner. I'm not gonna do an unboxing because you don't care about the, the seeing me unbox it, but I am gonna show it to you in the box before I take it all out. So let's go down and check out the Hallmaster roof basket from Harbor Freight. Okay, so here we are. The Hallmaster roof basket from Harbor Freight uh, comes in a pretty big box, but the, the whole unit itself isn't that heavy. Uh, you can see we got the Hallmaster plate. I'm going to see if I can do something about that. It comes tied together with these nice zip ties. Uh, and a, a pretty nice tidy box, even with instructions in the bottom of the box. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I can see the whole box of hardware down there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there it is in the box. I'm going to get this thing out of the box and lay it out on the floor, and then we'll check it out. Okay, so here we go. We're all laid out on the floor. Uh, the Harbor Freight roof basket comes in three sections. There's the back section, there's the middle section, and there's the front section. It comes with all the hardware, the screws, the clamps, the connectors, uh, all that other kind of jazz, and our nice branded Hallmaster. I'm probably going to take those letters off and just leave it basic black, but I'll show you how this comes together. Really, really easy. See, this is uh, a smaller section of the pipe and it just fits into this larger section of the pipe and you put it together with a little screw and a little rubber sleeve goes right over it. So, couldn't be easier to get together. Um, it's already got a couple of scratches on it from being in the box. Uh, but that's okay, it's gonna be up on the roof and it's gonna be subject to the wind and the weather and all that other kind of jazz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together and it helps if you have some nice big pieces of cardboard that you can keep it up off the floor. You don't scratch it up before you even get it over on the roof of the truck. So I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to show you how we center it up and put it on the back of our or on the top of our 2008 Toyota 4Runner. Okay so here we go. We got the Hallmaster roof basket from Harbor Freight. Uh, all together ready to go on the roof ready to put the clamps on to go on the roof pretty easy to assemble You know all they do is they give you these little screws and little washers little rubber washers and uh, What you do is You just put it together to get this little little rubber sleeve that goes over and They say put some petroleum jelly in here and, and slide it onto the middle rack then you slide these together, put one of those screws and the rubber washers on there, and then you slide this back over to protect the screw. Well, I ain't had no um, petroleum jelly, so I used some good old water displacement formula 40 uh, and put it in there. I figured it's going to be outside anyway, so a little WD wasn't going to hurt nothing. And, you know, it, it, it covers the screws up in uh, our eight connection spaces across there. You can't really hardly see them, but it looks pretty good. Here's a view of the back of the rack. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to center this thing. And it's going to be really, really cool. So stay tuned for that. Okay, now we're going to work on finding the center of this so that we can put it on straight and right in the center of our roof rack on the roof of our forerunner. So this can be really, really easy. You don't have to mark it, you don't have to do anything. All we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the inside and it's 34, basically 34 inches. So half of 34 is 17 inches, okay? And the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a piece of scotch tape right on here so that I can take it off later. So. 17 inches is right here. Put a piece of scotch tape there. Bam! You've just marked the center. What I'm going to do is, before I put it on, I'm going to measure the rear roof rack as well as the front roof rack. I'm going to do this on the front too. 
And, and I'm just going to put a piece of scotch tape on there, line up the pieces of tape, and you're right in the center. Easy greasy, right? Let's go put this on the roof of the truck. Okay, so here we are out at the Forerunner with the roof rack on the top of the roof. And all I did was kind of throw the uh, roof rack up there. Fits pretty good. It sits a little farther forward than I thought it was going to sit, but this rear rack cross beam is all the way back. I can't move it back anymore. And this one is all the way up on the frontmost rungs of the roof rack. So I can't really put it um, any farther back. And as far as uh, getting it straight, you know, kind of just eyeball it and see that it's just about the same from both sides. Now we're going to put on the clamps and check that out. Okay, so here we are. Uh, all you got to do is just kind of snap on the little spacer. Take the U-bolt. Put it under the crossbar. Take your bracket. Come over. It engages in these two little nubs right on the top of the bracket and then you just screw these on. It couldn't be any easier. Uh, really easy. And then you just you just kind of tighten these up and snug them up. It's going to take a second. Uh, you, you just tighten these up. Make sure the rack is straight and then go around and do the same thing to the other ones. There we go, we're coming up. There we go. We're going to go around and do this to the other two. Okay, this is really, really easy. All you really got to do is tighten these nuts uh, pretty firm. You don't have to tighten them with the, you know, the force of Thor. You know, we're not superheroes. We're just overlanders. Uh, the bolts do stick up a little bit, but they give you these little caps. You know, all you got to do is just... Put these little caps down there. They might fly off, but eh, who cares? You know, at least the bolts are covered. So now when you get it all tightened up, here's how you do the test. If you shake it and you can shake the whole truck, it's good. So watch. Looks pretty good, right? Okay, gang, here we go with the Harbor Freight Hallmaster roof rack. Really, really straightforward installation. There's a couple of other videos that, that you can go see, but really, you just put it up there, line it up, put the four brackets on, put the nuts on, and put the little caps on. So, let's go see how it looks. There we go. Um, it's not bad. You can easily stand on the back tire and get right up and get anything you need out of the roof rack. Uh, fits pretty good. It's not a giant roof rack. It doesn't, doesn't run over the sides. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I like it. <laughs> Part of the Overland setup. All right. I hope you like this. There's going to be more to come on this channel. Uh, this is the FBS Overlander channel, and I will see you on the road.